Before the session wrapped up, the final two weeks were more or less fought over Bill 6, this little bit of paper, the farm safety bill that the government has finally passed. That's going to be a big issue in some ways moving forward, but it's going to be more on the back burner in 2016 with the bill being passed and the government now doing consultations with farm groups to prove to farmers and ranchers that it's not going to be affecting the small family farm. Forgotten in the last two weeks is this report. This formed the basis of the government's climate change strategy it unveiled just a few weeks ago and that the Premier took to Paris for the International Conference on Climate Change as well. That's a much bigger issue in so many different ways for Alberta. The province is going to be phasing out all coal-fired plants by 2030. It's going to be putting a cap on emissions from the oil sands and more immediately, you'll be bringing in a carbon tax, a price on carbon on everything from the fuel you use in your car to natural gas you use to heat your home. That's going to raise about $3 billion a year and that's going to start relatively soon. We'll see it in the next government's budget. That's going to be a big issue moving forward, really controversial. It's already controversial, but this is a way the government is saying it's trying to reduce Alberta's greenhouse gas emissions and that's a big issue for the future not only here in Alberta, but for jurisdictions around the world. I'm Graham Thompson for the Edmonton Journal.